Hello, future people. Welcome to Getting Tabled. I'm Jason the Bruce. And I'm George the Yank. I'm right side up. And today, both George and I will be giving our opinions on Red Grass's new version of the Everlasting Wet Palette. Today, both George and I are looking at the same product. This is not something that we do very often, uh, but I kind of felt that it was probably important with this product. I do currently own the existing version of the Everlasting Wet Palette. George only owns a very basic one. And what you're going to see is that George will actually be doing a comparison with that one. And then once George has done his unboxing and that comparison... I'll be returning to you to compare the two and the differences in the products. See you shortly. Hello, future people. Welcome to my hobby bench. I uh, got an exciting one today. I uh, got my Kickstarter from Redgrass. Get all the goodies out of here. Let's see, Everlasting Wet Palette. 15 reusable hydration membranes. Care instructions on a QR code. Uh, looks like it's a nice retail shelf packaging, which means it should be easy to get a hold of. Uh, next, a little add-on is the, uh, the pot holder. Hey, look at that. It holds Games Workshop pots. Look, you can't tip it over and spill whatever all over the place. That might be worth it on its own. Uh, a little kind of mixing dish when you're trying to custom blend your own colors. Now to the actual palette itself. So, miniature painting made easy. Uh, it's kind of cool that they put in a little how-to, here's some tricks, got some blending. So I got the painter version 2, so I don't need um, anything crazy huge. Uh, instructions on how to set it up. Oh, how to take care of your brushes. Apparently there's a lamp coming to Kickstarter. Ooh, color theory. This is something that I know a lot of people really get into. Uh, I've got the one app that will take what you've got and, and find what your uh, contrasts are, you know, closest matches, stuff like that. Um, so, this book in itself is, is pretty cool. Uh, oh boy, Th this looks like a good, good information in the, in the box right there. Uh, one, two sponges, so we'll go through and set that up. And then I got, so apparently I did get a, a second uh, deal of, um, paper, which if they're reusable, should last a really long time. Oh, now that, that seals on there quite well. Um, got these little tabs on the side here, which, let's see, you should just slide on like that, beautiful, uh, or slide on like that. Now, obviously you can get more than one, put them on different ways. Uh, you can also just rotate it too. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, mod uh, usability, modularity, is that even a word, uh, with this palette. The next thing I'm gonna say is this lid, this lid seals quite well. 
So, uh, I think I'm going to pause the camera. I think I'm going to get some water. And I think we're going to set this up. Alrighty, let's uh, bust this open. It's not funny, I, have, I have sharp cutting objects just for this purpose. That feels nice. It already has a bit of moisture uh, feel to it, so that's kind of interesting, but let's get some water in there. Now, I originally got a Army Painter uh, wet palette back when I started getting a little more serious because I had never worked with um, a wet palette before, and I thought, well, an Army Painter one would be would be all right. Problem is, I wasn't too happy with it. It seemed to keep drying out. So, oh, that's uh, quite a bit of moisture it's soaked up there. You just have to pour more in and let it soak up. I mean, it is a sponge, right? <laughs> So much water. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to get up and go get more, because uh, that'd be unnecessary editing, just for just for water. Okay, yeah, it looks like looks like I've got enough here. Um, saturate it. Okay, now in the picture it showed squeezing it out. I wonder how much I'm supposed to squeeze it out. Let's see. Let's see if they explain that. Uh, squeeze out all the water. Okay. So get the lid off here. And per the instructions, squeeze out all the water. Okay. Well, that does fit rather, rather nicely into the Opening, let's go to the next part of the instructions. Place the foam pad in the case for the recommended amount of water. Refer to the guide on the following page. Oh, so... We're supposed to pour water back in. So yes, I'm going to go get a measuring cup and measure this out. Um, let's see. What's the next step after that? Wait until the foam pad is evenly moist. Apply the hydration sheet or hydration membrane to make sure the paper lines up with the foam pad. If necessary, smooth out the sheet membrane with the side of your hand. Start painting. So we're going to pause this real quick and I'm going to go get something to measure actual water amounts with. All right, and I'm back. According to the booklet, it says 3.7 ounces of water for this size. As you can see here, kind of, I've gone just over the three and a half ounce mark. It says to pour it in and wait for it to be evenly absorbed. And it is absorbing. It's kind of satisfying to watch. Alrighty, so there is some loose water. I wonder if there's any more absorbing to do. There's some white spots here by the little logo. All right, that looks looks pretty evenly absorbed. Apparently, it does soak up 3.7 ounces. Important: redgrass hydration membranes are one side to get the best performance. Always use the correct side. Put paints on the side without any markings for acrylic paints. Works best with everlasting wet palettes. Okay. Okay, without markings. So I don't know if we can see this on the camera here. There are markings, there are no markings, this side up. So the thing I'm most impressed with is this lid. Um, it, it's rubbery, it, it will set down and it will seal. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this lid on, logo, logo right way up. Okay, that's on. Okay, as you can see here on this camera view, I'm picking up and stop moving. Slide this to the side. 
There's my first one, right? There's an elastic band. Take that off. Oh look, that just comes up. Oh look, that just comes up. Um, well, hey, look, it's dry as a bone. Now, granted, I haven't used it in a while. I haven't panned for a while, but there is absolutely no moisture in it. Um, this is all hard plastic. This is all hard plastic, and that is all hard plastic. So, um, hard plastic. There's there's nothing to seal. Let's see here if we can. You know, there, there's some obvious you know not lined up quite a hundred percent yeah look at that right there you know how's, how's this supposed to be a wet palette that you know keeps paints wet keeps moisture in it if the plastic itself is warped it doesn't even seal so um i can't remember how much i paid for it uh looking at how much i paid for the kickstarter for the red grass one here versus this uh i overpaid for this uh this one let's open it again here all right that's that was nicely sealed um i really don't care about you know having a place to hold brushes like the army painter one did i would care more about like does it keep it keep things wet does it keep it moist is it you know retaining moisture um like i said i know i said I, that one had been sitting for a while but um it's completely bone dry you know let me go pick that one up and i'm using the red grass one i will try to make sure i don't add excess water to it but just for the heck of it i'm gonna pour some water in this rehydrate it and we'll just kind of set it off to the side see how wet the red grass one stays versus this one you know and i'm not even worried about the paper i'm just gonna pull that out toss it um obviously a uh, huge size difference too the, this this one does tuck away nicely on my bench and bench and doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, the red grass one I may have to figure out a, an actual specific home for it since it, it does take up some more space. This one I could just kind of set off to the side and not worry about it too much. Convenience of size uh, is overruled by can't keep paint moist. I mean, that's the purpose of the wet palette. So. Um, overall initial impressions, I am I'm pretty happy with the design of the red grass, uh, especially the lid. Let's see how much more water I can get in here. Looks like there's just a couple, couple dry spots. That should be good though. We'll seal that up. How much water we got in here? Yeah, it looks like it's soaked pretty much most of that up. Ju just off uh, first impressions, looking at this. Uh, as far as the quality, the size, the build, uh, I'm going to give this a, a, an 8 out of 10. It's, it's pretty dang good for not having really used a good uh, a wet palette. Like I said, I got the Army Painter one, highly disappointed, got frustrated with it, didn't use it. This one, you know, it looks like it's going to do the job of, of keeping stuff moist, keeping stuff wet, and do what it's supposed to. Um, I'll do a follow-up probably in about a month to see how what this one is versus this one because I really don't foresee myself getting a lot of hobby in in between those those two uh, time periods uh, with things right now. So uh, hopefully I can get a good review of that. At this stage, you will have seen George's testing and obviously what he has. The question that George had was what I actually had ordered. So this is my original red grass palette. Um, truth be told, because I haven't done a lot of hobby recently, I haven't touched this in probably a month and a half. I don't always use my wet palette. Now, I will say, yes, obviously, using your wet palette is generally a better way to do painting, but sometimes I'm a little lazy. So I haven't actually opened this for about a week and a half, for about a month and a half. I have not added water to this. 
as you can see, this has had a lot of use. Um, mine has bled through onto the sponge at certain points, largely because, honestly, there's been a few times where I've put too much water in here. But I honestly have been highly recommending this for a while. It does have a rubber seal around the edge like George had shown you, and that's why it um, holds together so well. But what I purchased was firstly, the upgrade set to this, and secondly, exactly the same thing that George ordered. Because this takes up so much desk space and I'm not a professional painter, so I don't need this much real estate. Um, so I decided that you know what? I really don't need the big one. I ordered the big one at the time because in my head it made sense. I'd like to show you the difference between what I currently own and what came in the box. All right, so first things first, this is the updated version of the sponge that came. It's pretty much identical as far as size is concerned. Um, this obviously has water in it, so it's going to appear to be a little bit thicker, but they are roughly about the same, I would say. This is maybe a fraction thicker because of the water that's inside of it still. Um, and obviously, the coloration is off because this one's brand new. I'm not going to open this at this stage because there's just no point. Um, I can't show you how something feels on a video and... Otherwise, this is exactly the same as the one that you've seen George show off on camera already. This is the new version of the, the membranes that go over the top of your foam. And here is the old one. Now, at first sight, my first impression was something along the lines of, well, that's disappointing. But then I remembered that you can use these a minimum of four times on the package, they say 4 to 10. It's the same thing that they had said during their testing. Um, so you are actually getting a lot more out of this, even on the low end, than you would be on this side. Because, uh, I mean, you can't reuse this. I mean, at the low end, four times, you're looking at 60 uses as opposed to the 50. And that's assuming that you can't stretch them out longer. This is noticeably thicker. Um, and... You've got the decorations that George has already shown off. I like the fact that they've done this to make it clearer what side is what. Because these are so thin, I've also found, and as you saw evidenced on my old foam, I actually found these leak through. Um, this appears to have a coating on top of it. There is a slight gloss that you can see if I move it around. So there's definitely a coating over this that's going to be helping. I think it's pretty evident even just by looking at the paper, that there's actually something to this. Um, first impressions, obviously, yeah, I, I'm impressed by what I'm seeing so far. But the truth is going to be in the pudding, and that's going to be something that we'll have to come back to you with. After a couple of months, um, we can come back to you with actual opinions on how it goes long term. I can say that I've been extremely pleased with my original, uh, which is why I backed this Kickstarter. Uh, until next time... Uh Click, click on the, the links and uh, watch some other videos. And until next time, play more games. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the content of this channel, please like and subscribe. If you're in a position to do so, please check out patreon.com slash getting tabled. You receive early access to at least 80% of all videos that we put out. And you get access to the video edition of all of our podcasts the day that they're uploaded. If you'd like to check us out on social media, Facebook.com slash getting tabled is the most active. We also have a Discord server. You can email our team at gettingtabled at gmail.com. If you're on either Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at getting tabled. And until next time, play more games.